Hello friends! Today I'd like to introduce a tool I made. It's called Hoster. So being a web, de web developer, I have lots of servers in the cloud. Here's my Volter control panel. I've got two VPSs running right here. Um, here's the IP address for one. Here's the IP address for the other. I give them a little friendly name, Gulf and Bravo. It's a human readable label, which is easy for me to remember. I can never remember IP addresses unless I constantly connect to them. Here's my DigitalOcean control panel. Here's another VPS uh, and its IP address. It's called Figaro. Easy name. Hard name. Uh, that's the problem. There's too many of them and the thing with servers like these are I never connect to them many times because they're like livestock. They're not pets. Back in the day, what I would do is, if I go to my terminal here, um, there's a way to keep track of my hosts, um, or anyone can do this on any computer. Uh, there's a file on the computer called the hosts file. It varies from operating system to operating system. On my Mac, this is what it looks like. These are generated by the operating system, and then all these are uh, what I have put in. And some of these are generated by other programs like OpenVPN. Um, all of these servers aren't used anymore. I haven't used these forever because I don't think they, I don't even own those, or I'm not renting those IP addresses anymore. Those servers are all old. And it's like impossible for me to keep up with all the servers that I bring up and down. That's why I made Hoster. It gives you an alternate way of remembering your server's IP address. And that is that it doesn't remember. It just finds it out right when you need it. So I'll give you a little demonstration. Here's uh, my Cloud9 IDE. Beautiful IDE. It's perfect for what I do. If you do web development, check it out. Say I want to connect to my Gulf VPS uh, by way of SSH, secure shell, and I don't remember my IP address. Say I don't even have this window open, which normally I wouldn't. Normally I would do something like SSH core at, and then I would have to log in, find the IP address, copy it, paste it, log in like that, and I'd type yes there and be on my way but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, Hoster does this for you. Instead of typing that IP address in, you do ssh core at gulf. Only gulf you need to put in back ticks, or you could put it in uh, dollar sign parenthesis, which is more modern way, the backticks are more portable, but either one will do the same exact thing as long as your operating system supports, what is it called? Bash command substitution. So I guess it does depend on bash, but other shells will do it like, I don't know, there's a there's a tons of them. Bash is the one I use. Um, Gulf, let's see it in action. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot my own syntax. Um, here's the example usage. You need to uh, do hoster, hoster, and then the name. Okay, so it's hoster golf. And there we go. Um, what hoster did was it used my Volter um, API key and using Volter's um, API found a matching host name golf. And it's all in the code here somewhere. Where's the part, the, the API call? Man, I'm excited. It's cool. It's cool. I'm so proud. I made something. Uh, yeah, it's in there somewhere. Anyway, it does an API call. There's a config.json file, which I'm not going to show because it has my Volter API key. Um, but in that config file, I'll show it. I'll just censor it. Um, Volter API key and also a DigitalOcean client ID and DigitalOcean API key. So basically what 
hoster will do is find your host if it's in Volter or DigitalOcean. So let's try the Digital DigitalOcean host um, called Figaro. I'm going to cancel that. Hoster Figaro 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 Oh, you know what? This one isn't going to work. I don't have the the key. Oh, I, I guess it that proves it connects, but <laughs> uh, I, have, I don't have the SSH key on this IDE. Anyway, what else can it do? It can do one more thing, which is um, you can specify the cloud you want to SSH, well, the cloud you want to SSH into. So say you have uh, Bravo at Volter and a Bravo at DigitalOcean. Um, there's a way you can specify you want the Bravo at DigitalOcean, which is by doing a prefix. And the prefix for DigitalOcean is DO. Can we prove it? Yes, we can. I'm going to make a new instance called Figaro at um, Volter to prove it works. This Volter seems to be a little faster than DigitalOcean for um, spinning up instances. By the way, if you want to see like this work on Amazon or Amazon e uh, EC2 or other providers, let me know. Um, open an uh, issue on the hoster page or just code it yourself and fork it and make a pull request. Um, I've got notes here on how to in install. I won't go to into installing in this video, but if, if that's something interesting to people, let me know. I made this project because I've been working with CoreOS. I've been doing a lot of testing from scratch machines, spinning them up and having them get their configuration from a cloud config. And I was just changing IP addresses so often it was annoying going back and forth. I'd rather just use a human readable name. Okay, there's Figaro. Okay, let me, let's get the IP address. Figaro on Volter ends with 125. Figaro on DigitalOcean is 208. Let's do a little test. DigitalOcean Figaro should show 208. And it does. And then Volter Figaro. It's weird spelling Volter. Um, 125, was that correct? That was correct. Yep, so that's, um, that's Hoster. And you could use anywhere that you could use bash. I don't know why. Oh, I kind of do know why. Uh, one use case would be uh, to echo my VPS name, MegaVPS, is pretty cool and its IP address is hoster MegaVPS. And then you could um, write that to a, a text file, email it or something. Yeah, that's what it does now. If you think it should do something else, make an issue if it's useful. I don't even know if anyone will find this useful besides me. But that's it. That's a uh, hoster. Um, if you like it, leave a comment or something or make a poll request or, or I mean make an issue. I don't know. Do your thing. Love who you are and peace and freedom etc. Have a good day.